new now with chief meteorologist Jamie Warriner. Well, today was a winter, a day, a winter of a day after yesterday's dreary conditions that we had across the area. Skies are starry out there right now. Temperatures are heading south on us. Looks like we'll be in the 40s here shortly. We were in the 40s this morning. This is what we woke up to this morning, this beautiful fall morning. 43 in Springfield. That's kind of special because that is the coldest reading since May the 13th and actually below average. The average low is 49. This is not a trend that we're used to, at least not after the very warm month of September and also the very warm start to October. But you can see even with that chilly morning low of 43, that's well off the record low, which is 29 for today's date. High temperatures, mm, very nice out there and with very light winds, sunny skies, those afternoon highs in the low 70s. That's the kind of afternoon where you just leave those windows open and enjoy. Hopefully a lot of you got to uh, have that chance to enjoy some of this nice weather. If you weren't able to today, you got a chance tomorrow because we're going to find the same weather conditions again on Tuesday. Skies again clear right now. It is quiet across the region. High pressure is located just to our north. It's going to continue to glide down I-70 toward Ohio by tomorrow afternoon. And we're going to find our winds becoming a little bit more southeasterly. They're going to start picking up a little bit. Other than that, though, it looks like, again, a carbon copy of today with temperatures once again topping out in the low 70s. Here's a peak of those overnight lows. Uh, looks like generally mid 40s. There are going to be a few spots that may hit 43 other locations, which may bottom out at 46. But mid 40s is going to be the uh, the the uh, general rule. 44, I think, here in Springfield with a high tomorrow of about 73 here in town. Everybody, though, I think will sneak into the low 70s. Winds out of the southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Now let's talk about the pattern ahead. Wednesday's not going to be too bad. We are going to find a, a moisture starved uh, storm system moving across the area during the day on Wednesday. As a result, I think we're going to find partly sunny conditions, so it won't be as sunny as what we're experiencing right now, but it will be a little bit warmer with afternoon highs in the mid 70s. Following that system, we're going to have a very potent storm developing in the western U.S. and then it is going to lift northeast across the Dakotas and into Minnesota as we head into uh, the early stages of this upcoming weekend. That process is going to help to push a cold front, a sharp cold front across the area Thursday night into Friday morning. The timing of when that front moves through a little bit in question. Right now, though, it looks like we're going to get through Thursday with a chance for a few showers, but the bulk of the day looks dry and it looks warm and a little on the windy side. Looks like we'll probably get into the low 80s for highs. And then Thursday night, as that cold front nears from the west, we will find showers and thunderstorms lighting up along that front and on the back side of that front. And that's going to lead to a risk of strong thunderstorms. You know, it's that time of the year when oftentimes these storm systems come through with a lot of wind energy. That's going to be the case with this storm system. The problem is going to be, if you want to look at it this way, the lack of instability. It doesn't look like it's going to be terribly unstable, at least here in the Ozarks. Closer to the front in eastern Kansas, northeast Oklahoma, this appears to be where we have the greater chance for severe weather. I think some of that risk will spill over into western Missouri and northwest Arkansas, though, late Thursday evening. But as those storms progress east, past midnight on Thursday. I think those storms will tend to weaken. We could see some heavy rainfall also out of this scenario. That's something to watch after the very heavy rains we experienced across northeast Oklahoma and in northwest Arkansas especially, but many areas near and south of Highway 60 picking up some heavy rain this past weekend. And in the wake of this upcoming storm, we're going to find some cold air moving in. In fact, cold enough where we could find some patchy frost Saturday morning in parts of the Ozarks. That's actually right on time. Uh, the average first frost in the fall season is around October the 12th, which is what we're going to find this upcoming weekend. Uh, but still, I mean, just sort of a shock after the very, very warm conditions that we had just a week ago. Here's our seven day forecast. Beautiful tomorrow, partly sunny, not bad on Wednesday, Thursday, partly to mostly cloudy skies, highs in the low 80s, a chance for a few showers, maybe a thunderstorm during the day. The better chances hold off until later in the evening, Thursday night. Uh, that'll spill over into Friday morning, lingering showers and drizzle, I think, on Friday with some clearing possible late in the day. And then a cold start to your Saturday with a cool afternoon high of about 60 degrees. Sunday looks warmer with highs up near 70, and it looks like we're back in the 70s on Monday. Wow, mid 30s. Haven't seen that in a <laughs> while, Jamie. Uh, viewers Club. Yeah, here's our Viewers Club number for tonight 128408, and our jackpot is $500. All right, thanks, Jamie. Well, up next, some people enjoyed this beautiful day outside here in Springfield.